Hi, this is Take. Today I like to present the survey results which I conducted over a past four weeks. And the survey has to do with talent deserving more recognition in the field of bluegrass music. As a student of bluegrass music, we need to pay due respect to every artist who has contributed to the development of bluegrass music. To do so, we need to know who those artists are. In the book Mandolin Man, which talks about the life and music of the great Roland White, the author Bob Black wrote, there are lots of overlooked figures in the field of bluegrass music, people who have made enormous contributions that are known only to a few passionate followers of the music and its history. He goes on to say, Joe Stewart comes to mind immediately. Inspired by this line of thought, I am interested in knowing who else we have overlooked underrated or even forgotten. Then I started a preliminary survey asking people to name bluegrass musicians who they thought fell in the unfortunate category just mentioned. This survey collected 155 names. In the following primary survey, instead of using those Pejorative words such as underrated or overlooked, we employ the expression deserving more recognition. In this survey, 126 people, including myself, participated and chose five artists or bands that deserved more recognition from the list of 155 names. Initially, we aimed to reach 300 people to enhance the validity of voting results, but we needed a lot more help. We will try again with far more votes next year. One more thing before we start presenting the results. Here are five artists I choose. Now, let's look at the results of the 2022 survey. Here we go. 10th place. Who is this? Buzz Busby. He got 13 votes with two votes from Japanese people. We had uh, three person in seventh place. Okay, three artists. First artist is John Hartford. 14 boats and six from Japanese borders. Deb Young. Fourteen boats, zero from Japanese borders. Carl Jackson, fourteen boats, seven boats from Japanese people. Now, sixth place. Jimmy Goodrow, 15 boats and 7 from Japanese borders. 5th place, Vasa Clements, 16 boats and 4 from Japanese borders. 4th place, Joe Val 
17 boats and three from Japanese borders. Now, third place with this lady, the first female artist, Heather Dickens got 18 votes, three from Japanese borders. Second place, Charlie Moore got 19 votes and one from Japanese borders. Now, the first place Red Allen He's got 27 votes and 9 from Japanese voters. This is the results. Okay, how would you like the results? Are you satisfied? Well, I'm not. I'm not satisfied at all. I just can't believe Red Allen is at the top of the list. To me, Red is one of the legends and he's not underrated, he's not overlooked. And uh, same thing can be said of Vasa, Vasa Clemens, one of the greatest fiddlers, and also Jimmy Goodrow and um, you know some others too. I wonder if some participants considered this survey a popular vote and choose their favorite artist. I don't know. Well, let me hear your opinions. Okay, I'm going to set up a Zoom meeting and let's talk about it. Okay? All right. Catch you later. Bye-bye.